Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Canarium. Not to be confused with a canary. I think I made that joke already. Eh, oh well. Anyway, so as Spooktober continues, we continue down into the depths of this mysterious city we know nothing about. We have our trusty glove here. That's an E. There we go. I have no idea what it does. Oh, it's not as blue as before. Bummer. But it's cool. We have our trusty glove, we have an axe, we have a light, we can go flashlight. Oh god, that's so bright! Ow, my eyes. Anyway, we took the submarine down here and then we broke the submarine. Well, Cthulhu broke the submarine. We didn't break nothing. At least, you know, the second time. <laughs> Hello, spooky faces! Whoa, this room big. I don't like it. Too much going on here. Oh, look, another path. Neat. Uh-oh. Got a call, call on the phone. Hello? <clears throat> to other expedition parties. Uh-huh. Is there anyone who can read me? Yes. One person is dead. And two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. Oh, no. There is something... Here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. Oh boy. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. <sighs> you should have said something before I came yes, here. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. What? Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. I don't know what your route is. <sighs> it looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And... They are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Yes, I figured that out. Can we... Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. It's very annoying. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so what is your... Um... Expedition route. Did you guys go up here? Is this where I'm not supposed to go? This is awful spooky. Hello. Well, my vision's getting funny again. My watch will protect me. It's beeping. Holy mackerel. So the watch does do something. Uh, uh. As I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. Where you at, buddy? This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence the thing and the other relief with four tall figures i believe symbolizes empty vessels huh golems golems we've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've uh -huh. come across so far like heavy lifting Hmm, yes. Interesting, Dr. Faust. Interesting. Well, this is unusual. The thing isn't in the hole. In the center. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Wait. Yes. Guy. 
guy. Oh, there's more back here. I didn't even see it. My bad. There we go. Nailed it. <coughs> it's glowing. It's glowing on that spot on the wall. I don't think it's supposed to. Oh, yes, master. I understand. Destroy the... No, no. Whoa. Hit it with that whoa, yo. Uh, I believe I'm in a place high enough for me to see a wide vista before me. But the snowstorm is completely covering the view. Hmm. Yes. Mm, yes. How did we get here, though? That is the question. That's just going to shine straight on that rock. So let me go ahead and turn it until it's pointing outwards. That seems like what we're supposed to... Oh, yes, master. I've done it. I have solved the puzzle. I think. What did I do? Is it pooping downwards now? Oh. That is a very complicated light switch. You know, we in the future here, we just have a little bloop and it's done. You know, just bloop, 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 bloop. Or in some cases, we have the little bloop, but yeah. Just arguing semantics at that point. Alrighty, friendos. Particularly bright lights in this place. Ah, this looks like a breakable wall. Bah, bah. <laughs> diddling, you have found a secret. I love the diddling sound of finding secrets. Look, another wall. Open to me. Reveal your secrets that I may steal and plunder your tombs. What's this? Uh, flashlight. Oh. Oh. An ornamental object with a metallic part. Engraved within a sandstone rock depicting the Elder Thing figure in the center. I like that we're just calling the Elder Thing. <laughs> Secrets! Hello. I don't see anything else useful in here, just a buried chamber. That's okay. Walking through the tall grass, baby. Weird. 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 Who are we sacrificing today, boys? Or girls? I don't rate. I don't judge. I was gonna say rate. I don't rate. <laughs> uh oh. I can't touch this mirror. Maybe if I go flashlight. Ah! I'm so bright. Ah, oh, look. We have an obelisk. An obelisk. Hmm. I don't like so many choices. Hello. Interesting. What is this thing? Found an ornamental object. You sure it's just ornamental? It looks instrumental to me. Okay, I'm coming this way now. No spookiness coming to get me. Shortcut to this other realm. But nothing really achieved. <laughs> My big creepy sounds. Nobody likes you. Ooh. 
we got going on in here? Fancy. I've been watching too much Little Misfortune lately. <laughs> ah, yes. Here we have it. Some strange thing. See, I told you it wasn't just instrument or ornamental. Definitely instrumental. There's a lot. Oh, so cool. Annoying, but cool. That back. Well, go away. I like how they just fold back in on themselves. Huh. The reptilian folk. Hey, I'll do it. Yep. Something's happening in here. Something's boopy. Uh. Holy mackerel. It's a good thing I turned around in time. I almost missed that. That would have been upsetting. They went that way. Don't worry, guys. I'll be right there. We came from that way. There's also that way. Let's go this way first. <gasps> I'm not sure I like this place. A little too reminiscent of spiders. Oh no. Are you okay, sir? He died. Oh no, you too. I'm gonna take your hat. A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting place. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flying buoyant it must it might have been worth. Thank you. No, I can't jump, stupid. Stop trying to jump. Is this like a catacomb? Is that where I am right now? Catacombs? Okay, this is progressing too much. I, I feel like I'm... Yeah, I'm actually going where I need to go. Hello? Are there any more lizard people in here? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Hello, lizard people. <laughs> the same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here Nisha. matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Do they? I don't think you know what you're talking about, Doc. I think you're just making stuff up. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone is illegible. Hmm. Right, let me turn this off. It's blinding me. <gasps> I don't remember this symbol. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same as <coughs> the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Mm hmm. That doesn't help me know anything. I'll take that one then. Oh, I guess it was the only stone I could look at. Was the one that I could take. Okay. Huh. We just have hatches everywhere. That's a rock. Who lit all these fires down here, I wonder? Because I know I didn't. Maybe it was Dr. Faust and his expedition. 
Ugh, gross. Yes, I see it, I see it. Who wants to talk to me now? Meh, 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 meh. <sighs> what are you? Uh. From some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been wedded into shapeless ruins ages ago, uh -huh. we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon dead city. Weird. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls. <laughs> ah. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. I need another light. That's pretty neat looking though. I'd right I'd like to have one of those. A see-through coffin. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, I can't. I'm gonna take this back. Wait. Oh, cool. Now it's charged so I can bring it with me. Give me plants. I need to come through here. Thank you. These are awesome. Thanks. <laughs> oh. It lost its power. I hope these guys don't come back to life because I don't want to have to fight any big old lizard folks. Yeah. Oh, epic. You can recharge it. Awesome. Let me through, Ivy. I don't wish to Batman. Ooh. Oh, well, that's unique. I've done it. The heck is this puzzle? <laughs> Who needs a line when you can just cover the whole thing? No, oh, apparently we do. What do you think? You have any idea what we need to do here? Once you're in it, they can't grow up around you. That's kind of convenient. Okay, so we got three big mummies. Tryptophobic nightmare. A lot of weirdness. All right, well. 
that actually seems like it would be a good place to leave off for the day. Ah, oh, we have made a little bit of progress deeper into the cavern, so yay. So I'm looking forward to trying to figure this puzzle out. Might be interesting. I don't see any clues anywhere on how to solve it. So, whoa. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Canarium. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for puzzle-solving fun. <laughs> and until then, good night.